Hello, thanks for being with us today on a brand new edition of electrictv.net. I'm Dominic Geritano. Energy independence. It's not just good for our nation, it's good for our pocketbooks. Cultivating solar power is one key component of that worthy goal, and Washington, D.C. is helping along this technology the best it can, just not in the way you might think. If you're a red-blooded American, you must love football. So our next story is about how solar power and our national passion are coming together in a big way in D.C. at FedEx Field, home of the Washington Redskins. The stadium now boasts the largest solar installation in the D.C. area, one that is providing tons of power to the stadium and the team offices. What's important about it for you? Well, the fact they couldn't have done it without the help of the NECA IBEW team. This is the way many people view solar power. And indeed, solar is powering more and more homes every day. But what if your home has room for 85,000 guests, all with the passion for the gridiron? That's exactly what you'll find at FedEx Field in Metro Washington, D.C., home to the Washington Redskins. So when independent power producer NRG wanted to prove a point about solar's potential, it knew right where to go, one of the largest stadiums in football. And to pull it all off, they trusted NECA contractor Trulin Systems Corporation and their IBEW electricians. Trulin has done many solar projects over the years. In fact, we've done over $500 million worth of projects that involve solar power since it's uh, come into vogue in the 1970s. It's really coming into uh, its own with both the public and private entities. In fact, in the last 18 months, we've seen um, more solar work come our way than it has in the last 10, 10 years. The install, the largest of its kind in the D.C. area, was a big, complicated job. There's 8,000 panels here, and every eight panels are connected together and they go to the combiner box. Okay, from the combiner boxes, the power comes into the converter house where the voltage is changed from DC voltage to AC voltage. The power from the inverter boxes comes over here to this 3000 amp 480 volt switchboard and then from this switchboard into the stadium to the electric room to a 3000 amp 480 volt switchgear inside the stadium. The fans who see the installation are naturally curious about it, so NRG installed this board that explains the process in layman's terms. Not only is it informative, it's a great advertisement for the NECA IBEW team's work. This is a very big job and it was very complicated with uh, the way that they had to react uh, to the stadium. It was during uh, preseason. Uh, when they had a preseason game, they had to load everything up and take it away. And you couldn't even tell they were working here on uh, Saturday evening. And after the game was over, they'd come back out the next day and start all over again and man up in, uh, that day. When those games are scheduled, they are going to happen regardless of, uh, of external uh, factors. So in this case, we were certainly trying to work uh, and get this done in completion in time for the uh, season to start and be underway. The Redskins, for their part, were naturally wary about the time frame, but seeing is believing. At first I was a little unbelieving that we could actually get it done, um, but the more I spent time talking to the folks at NRG, um, they convinced me that we can pull this thing off and get it done and, and do it right for our fans. And my understanding is that pretty much we are running under the solar panels and the solar power on all the time except for our game days. And on game days we're running about 15% of our power off those panels. On a day like today, a beautiful day and a non-game day at FedEx Field, all of the Redskins energy needs at the stadium will be fulfilled by those solar panels. It's a very exciting and true and tangible story uh, about sustainability. That's everything from the suites, to the control room, to the signs in the parking lot. Day-to-day -day operations are all covered by solar power. It was the chance of a lifetime for many of these electricians who worked on the panels. Lots of them are huge Redskins fans, and they'll remember they did the work here their entire lives. Well, first of all, you know, I just want to say HTTR, and you know what that is, and, and it, it was a great honor to do the work out here. It meant a lot to the members. They took a lot of pride in doing that work, and uh, there was a big buzz uh, it, because it is the Washington Redskins, and we're very proud of them, 
and uh, they have a winning tradition, and, and we had a winning tradition out here, as a matter of fact, doing such a great job. Well, they were amazing. Um, they were professional, they were focused, and they got the job done quickly. And everybody understood the timelines that we were under. But as I walked the job site on a daily basis, uh, I could see how hard they were working and how they, they were confident that they could get the job done. In addition to the solar array, the Redskins have doubled down on the green movement by installing 10 electric vehicle charging stations in the parking lot of FedEx Field, available for use by fans for free on game days. Those were installed by the NECA IBEW team as well. NRG hopes that this is just the first in a long line of similar installations at NFL stadiums around the country. And NECA and the IBEW certainly have the expertise to get them all done. We want to send a special shout out to the Redskins, to Truland Electric, and to IBEW Local 26 for helping with this story. Thanks for being with us on this edition of Electric TV. Until next time, I'm Dominic Geritano.